Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will be discussing about inverse variation, and this would be the second part of our video regarding this um, kind of variation. And this second part will deal mostly with solving. Okay, considering that you do know now or you are good in um, translating inverse variation problems um, into its um, formula equation. Okay, so let's start with our um, general given being. Um, y varies inversely with x. Okay, so this would be our um, our variation problem that we will solve. We will use to solve multiple given. Okay, so we will just practice ourselves with this um, uh, variation problem. Okay, now in this case, uh, let's try to translate immediately this one y varies inversely with x so we will have y is equals to k over x so this would be this formula equation would be applicable for multiple items okay so we will practice ourselves strenuously on multiple items so that you may know how to solve inverse variation problems okay so say we have our verse ex first example as y is equals to 8 when x is equals to 4 then we need to find y if x is equals to 10. So the first thing that you need to know uh, to do when you are trying to solve for in, um, inverse variation problems is first to identify what is our formula equation. And our formula equation is this one. So I think we're done with that. So the second thing that you need to know you need to do is you need to list down your variables, okay? And you will notice that there would be two sets of variables first set would be this one y and x because we only have two variables here x and y okay uh, y and x i mean so again you will have multiple sets in this case you will have two sets okay you have the first set being this one it's already complete y and x and you will have the second set being y is unknown because you need to find y nga daw, and your x would be 10 okay so writing it down you need to at least so that you will not be confused and this is for um this is not an absolute way of so doing this one okay at least denote your first set as your y sub 1 okay denote it as your y sub 1 and x sub 1 and your second set being y sub 2 so since they are unknown so we leave it blank and then x sub 2 is equals to 10 and then again since this is under variation each set will have their own value of k. I will have their, the same value of k. Okay, being this one. k is still unknown and k is still unknown here. Okay. The second thing that you need to do after writing down your given is just simply solving for your um, value of k. Okay, solving for the value of k. And k can be solved on a set that is complete. A set which has complete values for the variables. On this case, we have y is missing, so we cannot solve our k here. We can solve our k here only. Okay? So, now, the first thing you do is, of course, solve for k. So, this would be y is sub 1 is equals to k over x sub 1. So, baka sabihin nyo, you might tell me, sir, it's different from this one, kasi may sub 1 values. It's not. It's the same. Okay? We just simply denoted this sub 1s for the first set. Okay? So, let's solve for k being y sub 1 is equals to 8 and x sub 1 is equals to 4. Solving for k will have us with 8 is equals to k over 4. Okay, let me just drag this down a little bit. And our k will just simply be 32. You might ask how did this happen? If I transpose this 4 to the other side, that would be 8 times 4. This would be 32 is equals to k and then again we can interchange that always if i have a is equals to b is equals to b is equals to a it's the same okay so don't ask bakit nagkaganan okay I, I mean that is the reason if you would ask why okay so we have k as 32 if we have k as 32 that value for k is persistent for all the given sets when i say persistent it's the same it, it would be the same for all values of an um, uh, all sets of our given so let me write k down as a red well, as our green along k is equals to 30 
sorry, I'm still in the eraser part. K is equals to 32. Okay. Now we can solve for this one. Why can we? Bakit? Kasi you will check. There's only one missing na lang. There's only one. Oh, sorry. That's too thick. Let me just change my... Okay, yeah. There's only one thing that is missing na lang here. And with that would be y. Okay? So, given this um, conditions, we will have, say, y sub 2 is equals to k over x sub 2. We have our x sub 2 as 10 and we have our k as, uh, as 32. Substitution property dictates that I need to change k with 32 and x with 10. Okay, and x with 10, leaving us with y sub 2 as 32 divided by 10 or just simply or just simply 3.2. Okay, or we can simplify this one as a fraction. This will give us um 32 divided by 2, the answer is, I think, 16. Is it 16? 16 over 5. And that would be the simplest form of it. Okay? Or just simply a decimal, which is 3.2. So, again, if you will change this one, let's try changing it here. I hope it's a small eraser. Okay. This would be 32. 32, yan. Let, let me change to one. I mean 3.2. So you will notice class that as the x value increases, remember, the x value will increase. That's why it's the answer here is 10. Okay. Then it's since it's inverse, the y value will decrease. That's why it's 3.2. Okay. Again, inverse variation would mean that if your x increases, your y will the other variable will decrease. Or if your x decreases, the other variable also increases okay so that would be one example for solving variation problems so let's have another one we will have four examples hopefully so the next one would be x is equals to 12 when y is equals to 10 then we need to find y when x is equals to 5 so we will s at uh, again find our um, variation uh, formula or the formula of e formula equation which is still the same so the next thing you do list down the given listing down the given will give us x sub 1 as 12 and y sub 1 as 10 and we have our k as still unknown and we will have our x sub 2 as 5 and y sub 2 as still unknown and we will have our k still unknown okay Let's try to solve for our um, constant of variation. Being our formula is y is equals y sub one is equals to k over x sub one, still the same. X sub one is equals to twelve, and y sub one is equals to ten. So let's try to substitute. Ten is equals to k over twelve, and then solving for k will give us one hundred twenty. Okay, immediate, yeah, 120, agad, agad, okay? So, we have our 120. Let's go to our second part, okay? Still the same, but it will be for the second set, which is y sub 2 is equals to k over x sub 2, okay? Our x sub 2 is already known, and your x sub 2 is simply 5, okay? x sub 2 is equals to 5, and in this case, your k is the same, so it's 120 also. So, your y sub 2 is missing, k is 120, and x sub 2 is 5. Substituting them would be this would give you this one. And, of course, solving for y will give you 120 divided by 5. The answer is just simply 24. So, you have all your missing now. So, let's try to check. Is this under variation kaya? Let me change the values for y lang for y only okay so this is 24 so you will notice that this x decreased value okay therefore this y will increase its value okay so because it's inverse variation let's have another example example number three let's have fraction y is equals to one half when x is equals to four find x when y is equals to 10. 
we have the same um, formula equation which is y is equals to k over x okay let me try to solve this one um on a way that i would solve this one okay so let's solve for the very first one I, I don't necessarily write the given i just look at the um problem so we will have one half let me just write one half is equals to k over four k is equals to one half times four is just simply two i would guess yeah this is two four divided times one half is two okay next we will have for the next one we will have 10 is equals to k is two over x which is still unknown solving for x will give us x is equals to two over ten that is um cross product i will multiply this one here but instead of multiplying i will also bring this one on the other side so this is division so it becomes the numerator the x is the will be the numerator and then the 10 would be the denominator or in short i just interchange their position so x would therefore be equals to one fifth yeah it's one fifth okay so x would be one fifth so let's try to list down the given to check whether it's still under um, inverse variation so uh, y sub 1 would be 1 half and x sub 1 would be 4 um, y sub 2 is simply 10 and your x sub 2 would be simply 1 fifth so what happened to y sub 2 y sub 2 this is um, I, I think this is 0 0.5 and this is um, 0. Point, what is this 0 0.2 I guess yeah, 0 0.2 what happened is this one increased so y increased so the answer would be 10 therefore what would happen to x is the x would be decreasing so we have 0 0.2 okay good under inverse variation okay and our last example would be about work work is very important when it comes to um when it comes to inverse variation because on this case it's very visible for you guys uh it's very um understandable i mean for you to uh, for any given work problems because you would agree with me that if say um let's have let's write down our problem okay 200 200 um refugees i will just have ref in a camp 200 refugees in a camp had enough food enough food for 10 days okay and if 50 more refugees if 50 more uh, refugees came refugees came how long will the food last how long will the food last okay so 200 refugees in a camp had enough food for 10 days so let's uh, denote our refugee numbers as our uh, R. R is equals to um, 200 refugees, okay? And then it the food will last. Say we denote the food as uh, the enough food for 10 days because we have this 10 days. So we will say the time is equals to 10, okay? So T is for 10, okay? Now it is said here that if there would be 50 more refugees that would come, Ibig sabihin, we have this existing 200 already. 50 will come. Ibig sabihin, they, the numbers of the refugees will increase from 200 to 250. I hope that you would agree with me on that. And then, you are being asked, how long now will the food last? So, of course, we will have the same f number of food. Kasi, um, the number of um, food, it is not stated here that the number of food increased. Okay, what, what is stated here that the number of ref refugees will increase? So this is under either work or time, okay? So what do you mean? What do we mean by this one? Um, as the number of people increases, the time that a job will be done will also uh, will decrease at the same time. So for example, say um five people, five people is working on a project and they can finish the project in two days. So two days lang. So, for example, out of, of, out of these five people, three people are lazy and they are literally not doing anything. So, therefore, only two people will work on the project. Okay? 
But then again, if there are only two people working on the project, do you think the number of days will decrease as well? No, the number of days will increase because of course, they would do the same job but they would have less people to do the same job. So, it, kumbaga, it's, it's harder for them. Okay, that's why the inverse variation would be good for work or time problems because it's very observable. So, in this case, in this case, of course, if there would be more people, then the food would last less. Okay, again, since there are more people, then the food would last less. So, we, will, we are expecting a lesser time when it comes to this given. Okay, and we will denote our um, variables as R and T as inverse variation being R is equals to K over T. Let's solve for our constant of variation for k in this given we will have 200 is equals to k over 10 okay and our k would just simply be 200 times 10 would be 2000 we'll have we have our k now and then for the next would be r is equals to 250 is equals to 2000 over our time interchanging them because we can cross multiply them will give us t is equals to 2000 over 250 and 2000 divided by 250 will give us an answer of 8 so meaning meaning the food would last will last for if there would be an extra 50 people for 8 days only so again you will notice that if the number of refugees will increase then therefore it's very obvious that the number of days the food will last will also decrease okay so i hope that is um understandable at least so that would be um, the end of our video if you would have any other questions regarding our lesson you can consult the video again or you can chat me in our group Okay, so thank you everyone for listening again and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.